Hi, this is Erling with Travel Trail Sale. I'm out camping this weekend in a beautiful state park. And the campsite that I have has water and electric hookups, meaning I have all the fresh water I need as well as electricity. But it is not a full hookup campground. And you'll often find state parks don't provide full hookups, which means you can't empty your tanks at the site. You take your camper to a dump station and empty the tanks there. Now, if you have a lot of people in your camper, uh, you may end up having people taking showers. And that, in that case, you'll fill up the gray tanks maybe before you're ready to depart. So you need a way to extend your camping time. And one of the ways I've found to do that is to use a blue tank. I have a, they actually come in blue or gray or other different colors. Mine happens to be blue, so I call it a blue tank. But it's really, it's a gray water portable tank that allows me to empty gray water from the camper uh, into this. And then I can take just this to the dump station and empty that out. That allows me to extend my camping weekend. I don't use this for black water. Uh, I prefer to keep it just with the soapy water that you're going to find from dishes and showers and so on. Black water is what's going to come out of your toilet and uh, I'll prefer to, to do that at the dump station on the way out of the campground. So how do you empty a blue tank? It's pretty simple. It's a lot like hooking up regular sewer hookups, but one difference is you need a little bit of a different hose. So typically, you're going to find on a, a RV sewer hose that you have a connection that connects to the camper and another connection that goes into the ground for this uh, water to go into. Uh, but to do that, there's a different connector on each end of the hose. But with the blue tank, it actually has the same connector on both sides. So what you need is a hose that has the same kind of fitting on both ends. Now, I actually created this one. I took the cheap RV hose that came with our camper and I put a, the same fitting on one end that it already had on the other. So the steps to filling the blue tank are going to be, we will fill this tank up. I'm going to connect it to the back of my pickup, drive to the dump station, and then empty it out. So step one, we need to prepare the blue tank. We'll take off the cap. And there's a second cap on the front of this. We're going to take that one off too. That allows the air to vent. And also helps you tell when this is full. Now this tank holds 15 gallons, which is about half of what's actually in my gray water tank. So once this is connected up and we open up the gray tank, we're going to want to watch to make sure that we don't overflow the tank. Uh, we have to turn off the valve before the tank fills because there will be some extra gray water in the hose. So we're going to open up our uh, sewer valve here on the RV and connect one end of the hose. Then on the other end, we'll connect that to the blue tank. There you go. You can see I've got rubber gloves on to protect, and it's a good idea also to keep hand sanitizer. I keep one in my pocket uh, so that if I do need to wash hands or anything, I've got that handy. Now, like I said, we're going to open up the gray tank valve and begin filling this tank. This flexible hose is going to go down if I don't hold it up. It needs something to support it. So I just use my hands and we're going to keep filling that tank up. It's just a couple of minutes. You can hear the water flowing. You can feel the weight of the hose. And again, we're just trying to make sure the tank doesn't overfill. Typically, your gray tank and your black tank are going to be labeled so you know which handle is for which. And again, just doing the gray. A 
when in doubt, if you need to, you can look as well in there. I can see it's about halfway full. Now at the end of your camping trip, you're going to want to have that gray tank be full because when you get to the dump station and you're dumping black water, you need enough gray water to clean your hose out. So uh, again, well, I'm doing this halfway through the camping trip because I need to uh, empty it out to give us more time for showers and things. But before we leave, I want to make sure that that gray water tank is all filled up. Well, I think we are all full. I'm going to go ahead and close that valve. We're going to make sure all the water's out of the hose because I don't want to spill any on the ground. And carefully remove the hose. Catch any little drips that are there. And put our cap back on. Then we'll take the hose off of the blue tank and put the cap on it as well. At this point we have a full blue tank and it's ready. Now you could actually carry that. There is a handle on the blue tank. You could just roll this to the dump station if you're close to it. But I prefer to hook it up to the pickup. You have to drive kind of slow because these wheels aren't that large. But uh, there's a handle that we're going to be using to connect up to the truck, and I will show you that next. I'm going to carry the blue tank to the back of the pickup now. It's pretty heavy, which is why I don't want to carry it all the way. On your hitch on the back of, the, of your pickup, you can put this attachment on it and that fits right through the handle on the blue tank. And with that attached, we should be able to now drive to the dump station. In the bed of the pickup, I'm actually going to have this bin with me, which has the hose that I need as well as the fitting to fit into the dump station. So I'm going to put those in the back of the pickup and we're going to drive over to the dump station. made it to the dump station and it's time to empty our blue tote tank. So I'll be disconnecting it from the truck and getting the right hose. And I do keep the hose in a bin in the back of the truck. Just want to show you a little trick I learned. Thanks to the internet, somebody suggested that you could actually connect your hose together into a loop to keep it from draining anything into your truck. So, handy tip, uh, got the right hose, and I've got the connector that goes into the ground. So we're going to get that set up, and then I'll empty. Here, we'll just connect the hose. There's a cover over the sewer drain. You can usually press that with your foot. Hopefully it opens up enough. Sometimes you need to use your hand, which again is why I recommend rubber gloves. tank. We'll open up that air vent. And now it's just as simple as tilting the tank. The water will start flowing. We're going to get rid of all that gray water.
So we've emptied out our blue tote tank. It's all clear and now it's time to put everything back. Uh, I store mine in the bed of the truck. Some people store it, they, they connect it to a ladder on the back of their RV. Uh, but we keep ours in the truck. We keep a bin for the hoses so that they kind of stay separate from everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything uh, down, put the components back so it's ready for next time. And it's as simple as that. That way you can empty out some of the gray water from your camper and extend your stay in a water and electric hookup campsite. I hope this was helpful. If you liked it, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if you want more information on using a tote tank like this, check out our blog post at TravelTrailSale.com. Uh, and please consider subscribing. Thank you.